I don't know what kind of video to record, so I'm just doing a uh, browsing the comments. Project Sophie Star, the introduction. Watch this. I spent way too much time on that. Okay. Matthew Irish says, Nice idea. I don't know much about English, so keep the good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. If you turn on the subtitles, you can see that it's a selfie star and it's a selfie star. Um, I just thought that was kind of funny. Yeah, the part that kind of gave my way away my journey had to do with, like, Google Classrooms and stuff. And I'm kind of scared of making Discord now because I hope we all know what happened there. Oh, yeah, this dude. If you want, Lost Sassy Child says, if you want to make a verse, just go on the many ways you can publish stories. Wattpad, fanfic.net, archive of our own, and see how it goes and expand lore, etc. Yeah, and like I said in the comments, I can't write for shoot. So yeah, this is not going to be a fanfic. Basically... You know Project Splatoon 3? Like, you probably know that if you're in a Splatoon fandom. That thing that, like, the one person did that basically had a fully fleshed out story and turf war system and everything. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking that, except a lot more attention to what the fans say. Because this thing is basically fandoms. The game. So, yeah. P.S. Knife's... Nice self-insert, although you claim it's not your name, but it doesn't really matter. You know, I don't know if it's a joke or not, but I'm doing, like, a video on, like, the five main characters soon, and so... I can confirm that Amethyst is not a self-insert, and this was actually created far before I even had the... Fully fleshed out idea for Selfie Star. Like, okay, funny story. Amethyst was created by messing around in Gotcha Life. Yep. <laughs> Actually, Amethyst and Dusk were created by messing around in Gotcha Life. Dusk was literally an O. Some well, basically, I was playing around with the numbers, and I decided to randomize all the num, all the numbers and stuff, and see what kind of character I got, and. Well, the character actually came out good by some miracle, so I decided to make it an actual C. And look where we are now. Let me see where my reply is. Yeah, seriously. Amethyst is not my real name. Um, name reveal sometime, maybe? I don't know. Very interesting. George Wood says, um, X, X, Sneezy. 69, XD, 420, and uh, whatever, I'm not reading that whole thing. <laughs> oh yeah, this, I suck at art. Yes, her soul traits. Ha <laughs> ha, not like it's completely obvious or anything. Yes! Sand Undertale Comic Sans Fun Skeleton. Ooh. This is my fa- Yep, this. This is my favorite comment on anything ever. This is the greatest comment of all time, and you can't change my mind. Oh, yeah, this. That got 67 views for some reason. Huh? This. Uh, Basically, what happened in this video was watch data. I thought it would be a great idea to make a video comparing opinions across the world. And that didn't go well. At all. Shark bites, I turned it for animation memes. Yep, that is. I'm actually proud of that one. I was surprised that nobody made a shark bites meme yet, because that is such good animation meme material, I swear. But I can't make animation memes, so I just did that instead. Also, I know that I use Comic Sans often, but no, I do not think that Comic Sans is serious font. That would be ridiculous. I only use it in either jokes or things relating to Sans. Hazel Best Girl. Yes, this one. This thing, this thumbnail burns your eyes. 
but honestly, I didn't really know what else to do. So I just made something really, really fast, and I'm just dying inside looking at it. So... Yeah, that's basically how I did what the Yandere Day of Drama sounds like, is I went to the YouTube Audio Library, downloaded every single thing that has to do with people, with people voices, people voices, <laughs> and then put it all together, and it resulted in the most beautiful thing ever. So, yeah. Mm, yeah, I probably did that one. Yeah, we don't support the game Sooth anymore. Tokyo Doki Shoot Club, where I uh, unintentionally got a secret ending that I already knew existed. Basically, I went to go open the game again, because he thought I had reinstalled it, and I didn't. And then it said ends, and I'm like, what? And I was like, oh no. And then I like closed the game immediately, and then I reopened it to take the video. <laughs> this one is still, pu I think it was still public, because honestly, yeah, I can keep that one up. Oh, yeah, we all know this one is privated. Haha. <laughs> do we do we gotcha club? I, I was gonna do that, but I'm not interested in gotcha anymore. Sadly, but yeah. 1000, so it's literally the word 1000. That, that's it. That, that's the whole video. Um. And then the OG green screen egg. The. As you can see, this is my first ever video. Um, and yeah. Basically. Um. You probably know that Nimbles died. Nimbles made, like, egg on Roblox. Yep. Yeah. I should do videos like these more often, honestly. You know, yeah, browsing comments series. You guys want to know why this is on the time capsule of YouTube? Because this hosts the longest argument in YouTube history. I'm not even going to go into it. Just see it for yourself. Songs to kick butt to. Yay. Did they change the thumbnail? The thumbnail? Did they change the thumbnail on that one? Doesn't look better than the old one. Um... Hopes and dreams, underrated. Um, definitely better than Megalovania. But yeah. Honestly, I don't know why Kibo did Sayonara instead of Your Reality. Because obviously, if Monica and the Smash Your Reality would get a remix, there's no doubt about it. It is the DLC song. Oh yeah, uh, this is here. It does have to do with the Andera Simulator, but it's a good song for kicking butt. <laughs> oh, why am I accidentally reordering these? Kamari Incantation, the all-powerful song that if they played it during the Wheatley fight in Portal, it probably could have all been a Portal 2 probably just could have been completely avoided by playing Kamari Incantation in front of Wheatley. But Sally Splatoon didn't come out for the next four years. So, yeah. Megalo Strike Back. This got labeled as Kara Fight Theme in the original video, but that, that is this. And it all went downhill from there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, stop. Go subscribe to Trisha Ryan. Underrated. The entire soul, almost the entire souls album by Vetrom. Again, go subscribe to Vetrom. Also incredibly underrated. I actually had to give him advice because for some reason he was putting down instr instrumental mix cover instead of remix cover. And that did not do good for his channel. So I said, hey, you, sh you should probably put Remix, because I didn't even know what an instrumental mix was until I found your channel. And, what you know, he actually listened. So, yeah. And hint, I think that 
I want to make hate the true villain of Sophie Star. I'm not going to go into it right now, but yeah. In case you can tell, soul traits are going to have a kind of big impact on the story of Sophie Star. So yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Fearless Terror. I love that track. I, I love orchestral things, basically. Um, it's great. Or, like, I swear, orchestral music should play in the radio. They should have a radio just for, like, not classical music, but orchestral music. Unless they're, like, the same thing I just didn't realize. Also, Blend Bone. I didn't really know what people were talking about when they said that they were getting scared in the comments when they ha when I saw this for the first time, but uh, uh, I got so scared. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to put Fly to Fly instrumental mix cover as when the song Sihik Butt to. It kind of lost its charm when Vetram remixed it. I mean, it's a good remix, but... Ooh, yes, Coach Yu Yu, the head cannon voice for my Inkling OC. The Painted Plummet exists. <laughs> oh, I remember finding this misconstrued one on on SoundCloud, and I've been listen, listening to it ever since I got a YouTube channel. That one's great. The caramel dance in minor key. <laughs> yeah, I actually specifically searched for that. <laughs> oh, this one got deleted. I have to delete it now. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, yes, bombs are throwing at you. True classic over here. Wheelie is actually going to have a role in the story of so Okay. In the story of Selfie Star. A big one, actually. So, yeah. I love that Sayori fan art. It's adorable. Sunday by Snail's House. I, if I had a battle theme, I think it would be that. Theme of really cool bird. <laughs> yep, of course we got six bones without sands and six bones without papyrus in order. Was oh, a spider dance? I didn't really think about. Oh no, the, the clock! Stupid clock! I'm uh, messing everything up. I didn't really think about I Come This Far until I heard that song Glitch Tale and then I realized, wait, this is I Come This Far, isn't it? And yeah, one of my favorite Rush Garcia tracks now. Also, I love Ascended because it's great. Oh, the Metopia OST. That is also so underrated. This, it's a me game. They put that much work into the OST of a me game. Amazing. Okay, let's see. Also, yes, I'm taking this liberty because nobody else did it for some reason. Still unfinished, but whatever. My stuff. Yep. Why did I make a playlist of all my stuff? An entire playlist dedicated to Dory May. Oh, man! <laughs> Songs to play during the end of the world. Is either something really sad and nostalgic? Or memes. Or both in the case of this one, which I commented and got like 600 likes, I think. Let's just pretend that one doesn't exist. Um. Oh, the Angel League. It's like a thing I... It's like another story I have in my head. Basically it involves an eight-year-old and... Yeah. <laughs> Oh yes, the legendary Important Binds TM playlist by Beans. 
Of course I need music I play for streams and stuff, because YouTube. I don't, I, this one has the most Hollow Knight memes, but Born of God and Meme has the best Hollow Knight memes. And funny, you know that MatPat theory about Hollow Knight where the knight was actually the Pale King? That was just so bad that the entire Hollow Knight fandom kind of hates him now. Um, yeah, that thing is in Born of God and Meme. So congratulations, I guess, Matt. That? What's this one for? Ooh, yes. This one. I've been looking for a 3D gotcha thing for a very long time, but all I could find were like, oh, Len Totally's little, like, you know, uh, modeling things. Ooh, 1.2k likes. I actually didn't expect this one to get likes at all. <laughs> but. I messed up perfection by saying perfect instead and everybody started going crazy because they're picky and so I got around to changing it. Guys, it, it was a mistake. No need to get that read about it. Let's see, what, what else should I browse for this browsing YouTube comments and stuff video? Um... See here. Um, well, I. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I used to have a playlist called Just Music, but oh, if you're gonna make a really big playlist, you have to remember this. Once it gets to like 600 videos. It starts glitching out, and whenever you try to go to a different song in the playlist, it shoots all the way back up to, like, dirty videos earlier. So, yeah, you might want to remember that if you're going to make a really big playlist. See, like, okay, I'll show you. Watch, watch this, people. Wait for it. Okay, I guess I'm too early in the playlist. Okay, let's see here. Okay, Frozen Star. And there we go! See? I'm warning you all right now. It's definitely something to keep in mind. That one never got finished. I was gonna probably the... Oh yeah, the... The comments on Vetron's videos. Oh yeah, Operation Berry View High School. Uh, so I wanted to convince everyone for like on a for freshman year of high school for the entire year, turn our school into an anime. Like everyone follows different anime stereotypes and stuff. And I wanted to be the yandere, but I realized that all the girls would want to be the yandere, so. I'm settling for Sundere instead, because I think I can do a good Sundere impression. Just, just me. Okay. Why is how to sound like an inkling there? I know a really good comment section to browse. Now, on the surface, it just looks like a remix of the Determination theme. Well, actually, let's go to Hate. I think hate is the best example of this. Okay, so like, see, this is his video on hate. Clearly the true villain of the gaming universe. Now, this is an awesome song, by the way. Listen to it. Um, oh, look at how many subscribers I got him. Hey. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, buddy, chum, pal, twisted fates duo. But wait till you learn about zoology, buddy. And here is the legendary type of comment. This is the kind of comment that will inspire the soul you know book. Cause yes, I'm I'm actually wanting a function in the game where you can actually look and 
the school that you see her zoology notebook in case you're a big Undertale nerd. Um, see all the different soul traits you got in there? And these are the comments that are going to inspire her journal entries on them. So like, look at this. Look at this comments. See, okay, this is obviously a headcanon, black skin patches and stuff. Now, I used to think that hate was black with a red outline, but then Camila Kubis revealed that it actually depends on your soul trait, with making, you know, Betty get overtaken by the hate and stuff. So, yeah. Hate is just black, I guess. <laughs> what the heck is a real collation? I don't even know what collation means. Oh, yes. Sinester, unless that's actually how you're supposed to say it. Yes! Platinum News in this says, Vetrom, Lisa is not her soul trait. Every subscriber already writing a whole paragraph about the meaning of the soul. My time has come again! <laughs> YouTube comments are great. Okay, so one of the characters is gonna have hope, and like, the villain is gonna have despair. Well, like, but who seems to be villain at first? And technically, is the villain, but yeah, I already mentioned that the actual villain of the whole thing is gonna be hate. So yeah, but no hope and despair. Like, it's not gonna be a Dig and Rampa reference. So do not go crazy in the chat about Dig and Rampa, you Dig and Rampa kids. Dig and Rampa is great and all, but I'm just not that into it. It sounds like a Fandom that would be way too complicated to get into. Like, even harder than the Hollow Knight fandom. And trust me, the, getting into the Hollow Knight fandom is hard. Okay, so. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Um. Huh. Hmm. I'm awkward. Um. There was a comment section that I really liked on the video, but. Ah ha ha ha! I'm evil. <laughs> That's right, boys and settle. We're gonna be moving on from YouTube to Pinterest. Something weird's gonna show up here for sure. Ah! <laughs> oh, what is this? Karen Shungus. <laughs> Anti vax. Mother of two beautiful children who are unvaccinated and new to Facebook. This is why you guys need to get a Pinterest account. See? Okay, looks like I'm uploading two videos in a day then. Uh.